Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we've got an essential tutorial for you. We'll be walking through the process of creating a TeamViewer ID and password. Whether you're looking to provide remote support or access your own devices from anywhere, TeamViewer is a fantastic tool. So let's dive right in. First things first, if you haven't already, you'll need to download and install TeamViewer on your device. You can find the download link in the description below. Once you have it installed, Open the application, click on the registration button, and you'll be prompted to fill out a simple registration form. Provide your email address, create a secure password, and enter your name. Make sure to use a valid email address as you'll need it to verify your account. After filling out the form, TeamViewer will send a verification email to the address you provided. Go to your email inbox, find the verification email, and click on the verification link. This step is crucial to activate your TeamViewer account. Once you've verified your email, log in with the email and password you just set up. Once you've successfully signed in, you'll notice a unique identification number called the TeamViewer ID. This ID is essential for connecting to your device remotely. If you don't want to have a random generated password, you can set up a permanent password. To set up a password, click the settings and look for the security tab in the TeamViewer interface. Click on it and look for random password. Change the eight characters password strength to disabled, no random password. Then click advanced and look for personal password. You can now set your own password. This password adds an extra layer of security to your remote sessions, so make sure it's strong and memorable. Once you've set up your password, make sure to save it securely. Losing this password might make it challenging to access your device remotely. And there you have it. You've successfully created a TeamViewer ID and password, making remote access to your devices a breeze. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.